Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're going to learn about the nervous system. Now I really find this picture interesting, it shows all of the different nerves in the body. Now obviously this isn't something you need to know, all of the names of all of the different nerves, but it is interesting seeing all how all these nerves go throughout our body, and how each body part has many many different types of nerves to help us move around. So we have a couple learning goals today. You should be able to describe the role of the nervous system and you should be able to list and describe the parts of the nervous system. So first of all, what's the role? Well, it generates and carries signals around the body that allow us to control our bodies and to allow us to interact with the environment. And this is actually um, a plasticized human that they've taken the nervous system out of, or the major nerves anyways, and they've um, protected these nerves so that they can be on display without them degrading. Now there are two different parts of the nervous system, the central nervous system, or CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, or PNS. So the central nervous system is the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system are the sensory nerves and the motor nerves. And we'll take a look at each of these different parts. So first of all, the brain, it receives and interprets stimuli. So it's getting information from all these nerves in the body. All of that information gets sent to the brain, and it needs to interpret that stimuli to determine how the body needs to react. And then it also sends signals to the glands and the muscles so that they can react in a certain way. And just an interesting side point, in order to perceive various senses, we have all these different parts of our brain. Um, I know there's a lot of research going on now in neurochem or sorry, neurobiology, learning how the different parts of the brain do different things and how people uh, with different personalities even have different parts of their brain slightly different than each other. Next we'll look at the spinal cord. And this is just a continuation of the brain stem. And it controls a lot of um, auto, uh, automatic reflex actions. So for example, if you go to touch uh, something that's on the stove and it's really hot, often you'll touch it, you'll grab it, and then you automatically just drop it. You don't even have to think about it. So it's just, you've grabbed it, you realize it's hot, you drop it. If that information had to go from your hand all the way up to your brain, be processed, and then back down to your arm to know to drop that hot thing, that would take much longer. So this actually happens in the spinal cord. It's a much faster because the nerves only need to go to the spinal cord, not all the way up to the brain. So it comes to the spinal cord and then sends that information directly without that same processing time so that you can drop it quickly without burning yourself or without burning yourself as much. Let's take a look at the types of nerves now. The first one is the sensory nerve. And these uh, transmit sensory nerve impulses between body surfaces or organs and the central nervous system. So the central nervous system and then the different organs um, or the surfaces, for example, the skin of the body, they have to have a connection. So these are the sensory uh, nerves and they take information for example from outside if you feel a cool breeze on your skin then that sensation will be uh, transferred to your central nervous system or inside if you have a pain and maybe in your gut something like that it will send that information to your central nervous system and then motor nerves these transport um, nerve impulses between the skeletal muscle and the central nervous system to control motion. So this would be an example of when your body is reacting to something. So if you've got a pain in your gut and that information has been sent through your sensory nerves to your central nervous system, maybe your central nervous system decides that the best action is to, to bend over and clutch your stomach. So the the nerves are sending, so the motor nerves are sending those messages, you know, to your arms to do this, to your body to squint over like that. And so that's um, the motor nerves that are having that action. And then finally, let's take a look at the cells. I put tissues and cells, but we're looking at the, the nervous tissue and specifically the neurons of the um, nervous system. So neurons conduct nerve impulses, and these are actually electrical signals. 
and they receive information from the dendrites and send it out through the axons. So what do these terms mean? Well, if you take a look at the picture at the bottom there, there's almost like three parts. There's the central sort of circular part of the cell, which is the cell body. Coming out of there, there's all these sort of spiky looking bits, these projections. Those are the dendrites. So there are tons and tons of dendrites coming off of the cell body. And then there's one single long axon that goes away from the cell body. And at the end, it has some projections so that it can interact with different cells. So the dendrites is where the information comes to the cell. The cell can then decide if it wants to send that information along and it will send it along through the axon towards other cells to give them that information as well. And here's just a close-up of a nerve. You can see there are many, many axons running through the nerve. They're uh, surrounded by connective tissue which help hold the nerve uh, sort of the structure of the nerve and then there are also blood vessels moving through there to help give uh, oxygen to those cells and to remove carbon dioxide to give nutrients and so on. So let's take another look at our learning goals. Can you describe the role of the nervous system and can you list and describe the organs or the parts of the nervous system? If you can do these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video and if you're still having questions, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye.